let's begin by powering up the UV sensor. You'll notice that the LED will be solidly illuminated, indicating that it's working correctly. Now, we'll move on to installing the UV sensor. First, we need to unscrew the screws on the base. And insert the sensor through the fan hole. Then, we need to stick the UV cable to the house of the 3D printer UV light, making sure that the sensor is facing the screen. It's important not to insert the UV cable into the house of the UV light, as this could cause printing failure. Next, we'll stick the cable to the base to prevent it from falling when dragging, and lock the screws on the base to ensure that the installation is secure. Finally, we'll turn on the UV light in illumination on the 3D printer and check if the blue LED on the UV sensor is fast flashing triple times. Before we can add the UV sensor to the Beagle Print app, we need to ensure that the Bluetooth firmware is upgraded to the latest version. Once we've done that, we can hold the button on the UV sensor for 3 seconds, and the LED will start slowly flashing, indicating that the UV sensor is in matching status. We'll then click the plus button to add and search for the UV sensor, and click on the UV sensor in the search results to add it to Beagle Print. After the pairing is completed, the LED will be solid illuminating. First, we'll select the UV time-lapse video mode on the camera setting page. Then, we'll input the total number of layers for the model on the page to ensure that we have a complete time-lapse video. Once we click the print button on the resin 3D printer, we'll observe the LED on the UV sensor flashing in triple time when the first layer is projected. Finally, we'll know that the recording is in progress when we see a circle on the screen.